Peggy 7. At Ubisoft, VR is about more than just technology. It's about creating games that just weren't possible before and exploring new worlds with friends without ever having to leave your living room. It's about fully immersing yourself in these worlds and going places and becoming people and doing things that you otherwise could not do. Today, VR is all about opening up the final frontier. Captain's Log, Stardate 2016.165. Starship USS Aegis is preparing for her maiden voyage. We've gathered some of the most decorated officers in the Federation to test her limits and to prove her place among Starfleet's finest ships. We're en route to a secret testing facility and are proceeding to our destination at Maximum Warp. This is amazing! Wow! Absolutely astonishing. When I walked in, I really wasn't sure what I was actually walking into. This is very cool. If I could have imagined what I would have wanted the Star Trek VR game to be, this is it! This is what we've been waiting for. <gasps> oh, holy crap, this is amazing. I mean, it's really is breathtaking. That was an extraordinary experience to be fully encompassed uh, in a world. Whoa, not into that. Ah! <laughs> you're interacting with each other and you're talking to each other and you're taking orders from the captain and you're, I mean, it's its really cool. So there's captain, helm, yeah. piloting the ship, uh -huh. tactical, and the engineer routing power and charging warp coils. I'm feeling that. pressure already. I'm feeling <laughs> nervous now. All right, shields up. Prepare warp, take us out. Yes, Captain. <laughs> Co-op game playing is not new. I mean, you know, we can play games with our friends, but there's something wow. different about being in a shared virtual environment. Hearing who you're playing with, you can look over and see the person and see them doing their job and talk to them. The team does not succeed unless everybody does their job well. Ship decloaking, activating shields. Okay, shields up. Shields up. I really did not want to uh, lower the shields. While we were under attack, I was very impressed by uh, LeVar playing that game today. He really had the language of Star Trek down. And they are transporting, Captain. <laughs> it's like, yes, yeah, this makes you push the buttons. I will say I nailed being the engineer. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. It's a Klingon. Red alert. Preparing to warp. We're under attack. We have been waiting in anticipation for so long for the technology of virtual reality to catch up with where we imagine we should be and where we all want to go. Line us up for war, please. We have full power. Ensign, as soon as you can get us the hell out of here, I'd be most grateful. This was really incredible. Hull is down to 20%. Come on, y'all. Punch it. As soon as you can. Here we go. It's your own Star Trek experience in a virtual world where you can hang out with whoever you want. And that's a pretty good deal. Guys, Ubisoft is bringing you the first ever Star Trek VR game. As you can see, it's amazing. And you heard it here first, unless, of course, you heard it from the reporter who leaked it on Reddit. You know what you can suck a bag of. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the man who was rocking a VR headset way before VR even existed, Mr. LeVar Burton. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. Hi! Okay, this is happening, this is happening. This is happening. Okay. 
Welcome to the sofa I had installed here for precisely this occasion. Thank you so much. Um, so it looks like Ubisoft got some of the old Trek band back together. I mean, like all yeah. of the old yeah. Trek bands yeah. and the new ones yeah. back together. It was so great. I have two questions uh -huh. for you. First of all, um, I know you have my email, so why no invite? But we'll talk about that after. Uh, and how did the game compare to being on the actual, on the actual Enterprise? So here's the thing, right? We use our imaginations so much, mm -hmm. right, when you're yeah. on the set. Yeah, you guys know that. Um, when you're operating the console, there's, it's really not connected to anything. You, you knew that, right? <laughs> you're breaking all our hearts I know, right now. I know, I know, I know, I know. But here's the thing. You don't have to imagine in this game. You are existing in a completely rendered environment. You are on the bridge of a starship and you're with your friends. Oh. It's, it's pretty cool. It's so amazing. So uh, what was it like working with that particular crew, all of you having had real enterprise experience? I know I can't let go of the fact that it's, it's not real. Okay, yeah, I know. <laughs> but it feels real. Yeah. I mean, it felt real to us when we were doing it. Look, uh, playing with Carl and Jerry was amazing because you know we have this special bond, that, just like you will with, with your friends mm -hmm. when you play. And here's the thing we really had to work together to accomplish the mission. And what's more Star Trek than that? I mean, you can play as the engineer, or uh, you, can, you can drive the ship, mm -hmm. you can be tactical, or you can be the captain, but no one position is more important than any other. Everybody has to do their level best in order to get the job done, and, and that's at the core of what Star Trek has always been about for me. Right, and what people love about cooperative gameplay. Yeah, play. absolutely. Um, so when you were uh, when you were Jordy before, you were the engineer. Yes. But uh, in the game, you got to be the captain. So I what did, did that feel like? Well, <laughs> I told the guys at Red Storm that I was not going to shave my head <laughs> um, for the privilege, and uh, and so they said fine. Um, for me, it was it took a minute for me to get acclimated because. It was weird how I just sort of slipped into Jordy. It was like that skin, I just like put it right back on again. The lingo, the rhythm, the techno babble, it all you know, started back. clicking in, coming back. But I was, I'm used to like responding to an order and not initiating the order. So I had to like, oh yeah, uh, uh, engage. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we start this thing. So right. um, it, oh. it took a moment, but I, I, I got the hang of it and it's, it's such a blast. I, I think that they really nailed it. The graphics, everything, it's so beautiful, but you will forget all of that. Right because the gameplay is so engaging. God, it's yeah. so cool. It's well, awesome. I can't wait to play this game, uh, preferably at your house. Yes. Um, well, you can come over and then we can play, we can play with like Brent and Jonathan Frakes oh, come and Michael on. Dorn. What are you doing right? with my feelings no, 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 right no, no, now? No, no, uh, no, won't that be cool though? Yes, it yes. would be cool. Yeah. I don't want to burst into tears uh, in the middle of this conference, so I'll just cry it out with you after, but thank you so much for talking about my this pleasure. with us today. My and uh, uh, you are dismissed. Uh, but you can't dismiss me unless you outrank me. Uh, it's very clear that I don't outrank you by like many <laughs> levels, so I will just say, make it so, number one. I love you. Oh, I love you too. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, LeVar Burton, everybody! LeVar Burton! <laughs> okay, so... We've all imagined ourselves on that bridge, and now you get to do it. We're going to have Star Trek Bridge Crew at the Ubisoft booth, and of course when it comes out this fall on all major VR systems.